Uh, we're continuing our worship series called When Christians Get It Wrong. Kind of a, a, a funky title, wouldn't you say? And, and a part of our goal in all of this has been, of course, to sort of own up and acknowledge that every once in a while we do get it wrong. Uh, when religion divides us and when politics rule us and when labels blind us and when science scares us. And our goal, of course, throughout this whole series is to uh, talk just a little bit about that, acknowledge that, own up to it, but also recognize and celebrate the ways in which we can get it right more and more. Well, today is about politics. And politics for us is a broad subject. It's not really just partisan politics and government, but also in community and in workplace and family and some of the civic organizations to which we belong. We, we kind of let that sometimes rule who we are. And unfortunately, we saw a little bit of that yesterday in Charlottesville, Virginia, didn't we? Uh, we witnessed uh, the relevancy of how sometimes those who claim the name Christ can get it wrong and how in the name of Christ we project images that are really not Christ-like in any way, shape, or form. Some of you will know that when we have a baptism in the United Methodist Church, we answer a few questions. And yesterday as I was sort of blindsided by these activities going on in Charlottesville, Virginia, I was reminded of these. We're about to have a baptism here in just a few minutes, so you'll hear these questions again, but I just want to highlight them because they speak into the face of the evil that we witnessed yesterday. When we baptize folks, we ask this question. Do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Friends, if yesterday's demonstrations were not demonstrations of the evil powers of this world, I don't know what is. And a part of our claim to faith in Christ is to say that is wrong, that is not Christ, that is not Christ-like, and that has nothing to do with the faith of Christ. Because the second question we ask when we're baptized is this, do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Friends, they presented themselves yesterday. Evil, injustice, oppression, there is nothing that happened yesterday in the name of those marches that was right about the faith of Jesus Christ. The faith of Jesus Christ is about love and light. The faith of Jesus Christ is about peace and justice. The faith of Jesus Christ is what calls us to say, I repent of that. So when we answer these questions, not only are we making a claim of faith, but we are also making a statement of action that we will no longer tolerate that which is darkness, that which is evil, that which is wrong, and that which is unjust. So what I say to you as your pastor is thank you. Thank you for being a church that lives into the light and love of Jesus. Thank you for being a church that promotes the peace and justice of our Savior. Thank you for wanting to get it right more than we get it wrong. I'm honored that we would choose to do that and that we will continue to live into that each and every day of our walk of faith. 